Uh, no, at this point, we have no evidence that there's been more than one shooter. So you think there was more than, do you think there was more than one there's shooter? Three shooters. There's three shooters. Actually was speaking to the suspect, Nicholas Cruz. He was trouble in middle school, so I kind of joked to him about it and said, I'm surprised you weren't the one who did it. And he just gave me a huh? So, uh, that's really, really what happened. Yes, sir, with him. Weren't you scared? Um, in the moment I wasn't because there was obviously definitely another shooter involved, but... Oh, you think he was not the only one? No. There would be a safe shooting to see how the students would, um, prepare for it and stuff like that. Everyone predicted it. It's, it's, that's crazy. Wow, well, he must have come on the campus then, right? Yeah, he was on the third floor. He knows the school layout. He knows where everyone would be at as of right now. He, he's been in his own fire drills. He's prepared for this stuff. Gun-wise, I don't think there's any way to prevent it. You outlaw guns, just creates higher demand for it. I think it has to do with mental health, though. If he's been expelled three different times from three different schools, I think he should be helped out. So basically, we went over a code red, which is gun on campus. We went over that about a month ago, and there was rumors going around the school that there would be a safe shooting to see how the students would um, prepare for it and stuff like that. It's well orchestrated and planned. It's like this is like a moment that like you just will never forget. It was always like that like kid that like he didn't really have a lot of friends. Everyone was com really confused because like we thought it was another fire drill or like the fake fire drill that they like doing. I really hope this isn't real. So yeah. We're so sorry about so that, sorry. Samantha. So sorry. So they shot. They started shooting um, coming the from the first floor up because there's only two exits in the freshman building. So everybody started running to the other exits, but that's when the shooter, the other shooter, started coming up. So everybody, and then I thank God to this teacher who opened up her door and like all of a sudden she got shot in the arm trying to open the door, and then the other teacher he got shot in the head trying to cut the other students, and um, it was like an hour, like it felt like years waiting for them. And then after all that, we finally got out, and like they started yelling at us to keep focus and to pay attention ahead, the army people, because they didn't want us to see the bodies that they hid in the, the corner. They were putting mats over them, so we wouldn't see them. But there was dust all over the floor. The, the, like the security English school in there. They're trying to. So you think there was more than? Do you think there was more than one? There's three shooters. We're children. You guys are, like are the adults. You need to take some action. We had a fire drill this morning, and then at the end of the class, like it was around 2.35, we had another drill, or we had the fire alarm. And as we were getting ready to evacuate, somebody on the intercom said um, that teachers and students had to evacuate. And I guess that's when I knew something serious was happening. I didn't know if it was a fire or something else. But then after that, we got outside, and we heard the pops, like she said. and. Yeah. running and everyone was just we all thought it was a fire drill because we had one previously today and we thought it was that so no one was that nervous but then when word started going around that it was shots and not just like something else then everyone just started running towards the, uh, the canal and in the hallway I saw a big pile of blood like kind of smeared as if they were dragged away and I saw two girls probably dead in the hallway and then coming down the stairs there was some more blood and outside of the building, there was another guy, and I think it was a teacher who was pretty sure was dead outside. And what did you see, Leo? You said that you were inside, and, and I was the inside. Was not just one gunshot. It, it was one. multiple. How did my, it sound? It really mm -hmm. loud because it was right outside my door, and like, the, I saw like, basically the same thing I heard. And there was just a lot of blood everywhere, and there was bodies kind of just everywhere. <laughs> you saw a lot of blood. Yeah, there was like, I think there was four of them. When the police like let us out, there was dead bodies everywhere. Like there was two there, and then when I kept walking down, there was more. It was just scary. We were just first. in class waiting, like doing notes and talking about a project, and the fire alarm goes for the second time in the same day, which is yeah. weird. So we all just yeah. go out to the field like we're supposed to, and then I hear like like gunshots. Like, like you can tell, like, and then usually, like it's definitely gunshots. Yeah. Usually, then, whenever a fire alarm goes off, it's usually just like culinary and accident or nothing. But it was really odd to have two fire alarms in one then, day. Like, thought it was a drill we actually had a fire drill this morning so it was very weird to witness that oh another one's going off like very 
creepy like why is another one going off and then all of a sudden we hear one of our student government teachers say run as fast as you can and we hear a gunshot we were all just sushing, sushing each other like shut up just suck it up if you're crying because we're not trying to get shot because he was in the hallway yelling hey Hey, trying to tell, taunt us and get us to say things, trying to get us outside, and that's when some other kid, like, he ran out because he thought it was free, but he got shot, and then we heard the groaning outside, and we couldn't do anything. What was so the shooter? Tell me, besides, hey, hey, what was he saying? Bernardo? He wasn't doing anything. He was legit. He just ran up the stairs, started shooting, and you could see a bunch of kids just going down that way, but stopping. But they, because the other shooter was coming. So everybody was training. Everybody was trampling each other because they were like, hey, do you hear that loud banging sound? And we all thought it was like some kid joking on the stairwell because they're hollow, so you could just hit a stick and it sounds like it. But then we all were like, oh, sh this is real. So we all just started running. It was really saw blood everywhere. Watch Nicholas Cruz being taken from the hospital now to the jail. We're both another student here. Today was a fire drill. We're supposed to be the head of fire drill and also a, a gun a gun arm drill supposed to be today. And so goes off. We thought it was a drill. We already had one earlier this morning, but we didn't think of it as we all evacuated as we've been doing it like every time we have a fire drill. So we evacuated because my class, my the position of my class is close to the evacuation spot. So we were one of the first students to get to the evacuation spot. So we were like waiting, and then we heard gunshots. Life is really precious. Anything can happen within seconds, and we all have to treat each other with love and respect and kindness. Because whatever caused this, it was caused by hate, pure confusion, and. Um, my sympathy goes out for the individual that did this because obviously he was really long, wronged um, in a way and he was obviously mistreated and that just shows you that we all have to care for each other. Mike check.